right, so welcome and happy Independence Day. Uh, this is your favorite author, Paul, and I want to wish you the best of whatever Nigeria brings in the next 60 plus one years to come. But above all, right, I want to use this morning to educate some of us about the implications of Nigeria being 60 and how it affects the sea of old documentation. That is the most, the highest level of documentation that any investor should have. But above that, even when you want to make money out of it, you have to sell it, so you need a governor's consent. But even before you get a governor's consent, you need to have that land gazetted in the governor's office in two places. One, the Ministry of Land, and then the other aspect, which would be the Soviet General's office. So, how do you get to the Soviet General's office? You have to start with the registered survey. Yeah, the registered survey. Some people plot that areas of property and they don't register it you can get a survey from any surveyor yep but for it to be legally recognized you have to register it and that has to be done at the ministry of lands and then first at the surveyor general's office which will chart your property get the coordinates of the area you have and then put that in their records with that in their records that your land already been registered then you don't have any issues in that case nobody even i yeah i cannot claim your property so the first thing after knowing that the land is free from any encumbrance either through our company through any of our properties that we recommend to you through any of the properties that we sell to you then you make sure that that document is registered i mean your survey needs to be registered most people never do this, right? Well, you could be lucky and the government will never come to your area and you are free to use, build, do whatever you want to do. But I think someone will do right now, the governor of Lagos State is doing a lot of things. And I think most states in Nigeria, you know, they copy from Lagos, being the center of excellence as we claim to be. And then from there, boom, you know, everything changes. So, one thing I want to say to you, register your property. Register, register, register your property. If you want to register your property, you can call us. The number is shown on the screen. You can call us and we'll help you do that. And please, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. The reason why you are seeing this is because somebody shared it to you and to, to help other people and investors to know about how to go about their properties. We beg of you, kindly share this video. Yeah. It's down there, that blue button that you're looking at, right? Just click it and then help somebody to know about it. I think it's I think it's here. I'm not sure. But wherever it is, just click subscribe. The bell icon will pop up and then click and anything we share on social media, you will see. So the first thing you need to do is register your document, which is the survey, right? And after that, you know, you can do as you wish. But another thing to find out is to chart it, which you need to know. And that brings us to the question of should I buy an exercise in, exercise in progress property? Should I buy an exercise land? My friend, see here, the first money that we make in real estate is when we buy that land that has not even been charted. We then bring development into that land. Yep. After that development, we chart it, we take it to the surveillance office, we register it, and we bill you. So anytime we register any property that is not registered at all, Okay. Bye. So, going forward, if you don't buy an exclusion in progress property, you buy an exercise land or that one has the exclusion. The numbers are quite different. Tell us to explain more about the numbers. Or check, I think this video or that video, I don't, I'm not sure. Whatever the video is, we'll send it to you and you can get full knowledge about it. And go ahead and do what you have to do. So the next part of it is what the gazette. Yeah, a gazette is like an official document from the government of the saying, man, this property has no problem with us, we're not using it, or we're using it for certain purposes and which you can buy or you cannot buy. Alright? So that's that part of it. So for us we say buy gazette, guys CFO, anyone you want to buy, it's your choice. So above all, we'll see you in the next video. And once again, happy Independence Day.
for spending some time with us future billionaire make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a good video we've also unpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next remember to click the subscription button and hit the bell notification for some awesome content every day if you're interested in implementing some of the options you've had and are wondering where to start and what next to do call our whatsapp number in the description below or send an email to us at info at uspropertiesnigeria.com like we always say we'll see you in the next video where we bring you the best of fine real estate in nigeria and property options around the globe make sure you're